You too. What's up? It's your boy Ulysses the Barber. Back with another episode of Clean Grooming TV. This week, we gonna focus on the juice fade, man. Or at least my version of it. So, let's get into it. So first off, you wanna set your initial guideline. Always. You just keep it low. You don't wanna take it too high. I'm going straight in with my wall 1911s. Keeping that blend close to the nape of the occipital bone. Always wanna keep it low so it doesn't go too high and infringe upon the hair on top. Perfect. So now I'm coming with an open, open blade. Just you know, setting my second guideline. And this guideline is just starting to you know make the fade come out a little bit more. You know, it's starting to actually start the process so you can start to see what you need to do next. So. As you see, I'm just cleaning it up, staying consistent with that C stroke, using the corner of my blade, man, and just, you know, freehanding what I see, whatever, uh, you know, discrepancies I see in the hair, I'm just taking it out. Now I zoom in, you can see how I'm really utilizing the corner of that blade to just set that blend. Yeah, man, y'all just understand that when it comes to doing this type of haircut, you have to have a good picture of it in your head already because if you just try to go straight in you'll, you'll end up taking a fade too high you'll mess up so you know i went with the one guard after that open blade and you know you're going with and against the grain that one guard is really going to start to knock out the bulk that's coming off the top of the head down into the ball fade See, always keep a comb in my hand, man. You have to see where that hair is gonna lay. You can't just, you know, go into a haircut, blending, 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 and not combing down the hair. You have to see where the hair is gonna lay when your client actually wears this haircut outside of the shop. So I just invested and got a little finger brush. I like it, man. You can wear it on your middle finger and your ring finger and hold the comb in between your index and your thumb. This gives you versatility, man. Sometimes you might want to comb where there's more hair, other times where there's less hair, and you really need to lay it down on the scalp, you use the brush. So now we're going straight into the lineup, man. I'm just gonna set my, you know, initial guide. I don't really want to go straight in yet too crazy with this. Right now I'm just, you know, setting it up so when I come back with the razor, I can really make sure it's sharp and then it pops out. You can see, man, I'm really taking my time with the C stroke. You want to make sure that this part is perfect. This is what everybody really sees when they see a haircut. They see that definition. If you take it too high or take it too low, it'll just mess up the haircut, man. Like that, that C hook is very critical. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and start balling out that bottom of the hair. You know, but you know, I'm back up here on this side. And you know, just keep it consistent. As you can see, I have a system to my haircuts. You know, I never just do random stuff. If you ever pay attention to the way I cut hair, it's a system. It's a systematic approach. You have to set up a way that your hair cutting is, is systematic. It'll speed up your haircuts and it'll also make your client feel like you know what you're doing. So yeah, man, I'm gonna hit that front line. You see, I got some all around hitters. Shout out to Andis one more time, man. I know y'all heard this before, but they sent me these for free. For the free. So my Oster Octanes, man, with that that five out, I always use this to just ball out the fade. So as you can see, before you start shaping the actual juice, you want to just pick the hair up and see where it's falling. So you want to keep a maintained, a steady hand, just so you can make sure that you're, you know, getting that flat top right. You don't want to get it to look too you know up and down or, or, or all over the place you want to just make sure you got a steady hand and you can see i'm actually sculpting this guy's hair right now man Perfect. so as far as the part you want to make sure that you're going with your trimmers not your clippers yet because you'll you'll make it too wide if you're going with your trimmers you can keep a real steady hand and make sure that 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 step as you might see in the movie um, is, is there you have to make sure that step is there or it's not a true juice fade It's not really a juice fade without a step So as you can see, I'm just crafting man. I'm taking my time. You, know, you can't rush this This haircut is, is one that you know, it, it's it's in a movie So your client is expecting to look like a movie star right now You can't just do something average or 
something crazy. You gotta make sure that this haircut pops, man, and sticks out. So that when he's walking down the street, people like, oh, bro, you got the juice fade. That's crazy. Hey, bro, that's Tupac right there. No, that's not Tupac. Right there. So I'm always thinking, man, when you do a haircut, you always think about other people's reaction to it. You know, of course, your client is the first person that you want to impress, but you want to really impress, your, you know, his friends, his, his girlfriend, his mom. You want that haircut to be like, wow, because that's how your client comes back. It's not about really how he feels about the haircut. It's about how the people that he care about feels about the haircut. Because if they giving him validation, then you automatically validate it to him. You validate it if you got that family. As you can see, I'm going in my baby list right now. You see that little part in the hair? I'm looking at that right now. I'm like, wait, okay, that don't look right. So I comb the hair over just to make it look more uniform. I'm just taking my time, man. So I'm coming back with my yeah. and the slim lines. These are like my my slight finishers. I usually come back with these just to really imprint that lineup, bro. Cause that lineup is already in there, but I want it to be sharp. Perfect. You know, these are my hitters right here. You know, I replaced these blades with a GTX GTS. and um, you know, modified them, zero gapped them. I sped up the motor a little bit, so you got I gotta be careful with these because these can leave your clients scarred if you're not being careful with your touch. So you can see how light I'm going. My technique, I got my thumb towards the bottom of it and just make sure I light tap it. So now you see when I'm, when I'm coming back to this box, man. Again, this box is so critical. Let's go. It's critical. It's critical. It's critical. Make sure you ball it out the bottom of the fade. You don't want a client to have hair, you know, right behind his ear or Fist right underneath out. his temple. Ball it out. So here we go, man. We're right back with this razor. Right back. Oh man, it's my favorite part of the haircut. It just defines it. Make sure you stretch the skin when you're using a razor. You don't want to cut your client by accident or, you know, be any type of abrasiveness to the skin. If you stretch it, it'll firm the skin up. You can go straight in. I'm actually dry razoring right now, and I'm using straight dry razor blade. You know, I don't usually use any shave gel. I just go straight in and make sure that I clean it up to the point that my client will be like, wow, bro, this is so sharp. Perfect. Yeah, man, that's 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 almost it. But we're gonna hit it with the backhand right here. Back. So this is an advanced barber technique. The backhand stroke, you know, it keeps you from, you know, tiring out your back and your shoulders by reaching over your client, man. You can just backhand that razor right up to the line. Backhand vibes. Serena Williams. So yeah, man, I got him checking it out right now. He's like, bro. Yes, sir. I wish I had the sound on right now. Bro was feeling this cut. He was like, bro, this might be the craziest haircut I ever got. So you can see the pool right there. Eyebrow raise, always a good sign. Look at that blend, man. Perfect. Clean grooming. Be sure to check out cleangrooming.com for all your contemporary products designed for royal individuals.